This conference will now be recorded. Yes. Yeah. Hi guys. Now just I will explain you unit 5 in your computerized recording. That one is nothing but MIS report. So MIS report. First thing MIS report means nothing but you know the definition of MIS report. So MIS report here management information system. Management information system means see maximum whatever the entries or whatever the transactions you are passing from month at the month ending means from day one to till the month ending all those entries are going to represent at one place so that place we call as mis report so now in mis report we are having different concepts around we are having like we are having trial balance profit and loss account balance sheet cash flow statement next ratio analysis day book receipt and payments next we are having bills receivable bills payable purchase register sales register now i will i will explain you each and everything slowly with the screens so now see first i am opening this tally erp9 software in this tally erp9 first important thing for seeing of first i will explain you how to see mis report of trial balance for seeing of MIS report in trial balance, we need to go to work in education mode. In work in education mode, if you see our primary screen in gateway of tally, if you click on display button and use enter button. In display button, in display menu, you can see the first option as trial balance. Once if you click on trial balance, then it will display you the whatever the balances you are having in your trial balance. So this is the procedure. To see the MIS report of trial balance. First thing is we need to go to work in education mode. Then it will display means what in whatever the company you want to see the trial balance. You need to select that company. After selecting of that company, you need to click on. I will show you again. You need to click on your after selecting that company. That way is going to display you the gateway of tally. In gateway of tally, you need to click on display. In that display button, you need to click on trial balance. Once if you are clicking on trial balance, then that company trial balance is going to display. This one is the procedure for seeing of MIS report of trial balance. After that, for seeing of MIS reports of profit and loss account. For seeing of MIS report of profit and loss account, before seeing of profit and loss account, I will tell you about balance sheet. Here balance sheet, the first important thing is assets is equal to, we can say assets is equal to liabilities plus owner's capital. So for seeing of balance sheet MIS report, same procedure again by clicking on F1, we need to select a company. After selecting a company, you can see gateway of tally screen. In this gateway of tally screen, if you observe under the concept of report, you can see the point as balance sheet. Once if you are clicking on the balance sheet, it will display you the screen of balance sheet. All these screens are important again. So now for seeing of MIS report of profit and loss account again you need to go to primary screen that one is gateway of tally in this gateway of tally if you see that profit and loss account just if you are clicking on that profit and loss account then it will display you all the points which you are have which you are having under profit and loss account first it is going to display you the trading after that it is displaying profit and loss account see there purchase direct expenses if you want to see the in details of what is this direct expenses, this you need to click on Alt plus F1 for seeing of in details. See here, whatever the details I'm having means coal and fuel, factory expense, next trade expense, wages. All this I am having under direct expenses. Means once if you are clicking there, Alt plus F1, that, that will give you the in detail explanation. This one is the procedure for seeing of profit and loss account. So after that, if you want to see the MIS report of ratio analysis, again, you need to go to gateway of tally. In gateway of tally, you need to click on ratio analysis. Once if you are clicking on this ratio analysis, it will display you the ratios of all. If you observe here, once if you are observing here, it is directly displaying gross profit ratio, net profit ratio, operating profit ratio, return on investment ratio means it is nothing but how much net profit you are having how much gross profit you are having all this it is going to display you this one is the procedure for seeing of ratio analysis next you are having stock summary 
if you are having any stock we will display all the closing stock items here but right now in this company we don't have any closing stock means we are do we don't have any stock category in this so now important thing is what is the meaning of cash flow and fund flow here cash flow statement means nothing but cash flow here itself you can identify that how much cash is flowing into the business means whether it may be inflow to the business or outflow to the business and finally what we will do means how much cash inflowing to the business minus how much cash outflowing to the business then we will know whether is whether the cash is profit means whether the cash is excess in the company or deficient in the company how you will know means if suppose total cash inflows is 1 lakh so total cash outflows is 80000 then inflows minus outflow if you see that we are having surplus of cash if suppose our cash outflows is our cash inflows is 1 lakh and outflows is 1 lakh 50000 then this 50000 rupees we are having deficit of cash cash here we need to so we need to see only the cash transaction means how much cash is coming in and how much cash is going out so to see the cash inflow means cash ms report cash ms report just we need to go to gateway of tally in gateway of tally under reports we need to click on display in display if you are grow you can find the point called cash and fund flow once if you are clicking on this cash and fund flow then you can see the point called fund flow if you click on this fund flow it is going to display you the fund flow if you are clicking on cash flow if you are clicking on cash flow it will display you see here here i am having total cash inflow of 22 22 lakhs 30000 and outflow of 5 lakhs 15000 so easily we can say i am in my company i am having cash surplus surplus of how much surplus you are having you can say that how much surplus you are having under so if you see here how much surplus you are having means 17 lakhs 14500 rupees this one is the surplus you are having in your company so after that next next you can see the next concept is see the next you can see the next report as the day books to see this day books we are having the procedure this one is also very simple procedure again we need to go to gateway of tally in gateway of tally under reports we need to click on display once if you are clicking on display in display menu the second point itself you can say cs books if you click on this day books you can see all the transaction whatever you are entering it will display you the dates also date the month and the year means on which date you have passed the transaction on which date you have passed that type of voucher it will display see here we are having different types of payments as well as we are having receipts if you want to change any receipt or payment if you once if you are clicking on that now you can change here by using your shortcut keys that one is f8 or f9 or whatever it is whatever the shortcut key by using the shortcut key you can change this voucher type as well this one is the procedure for seeing of day book so after that you are having next concept is how to see the receipts and payments see for seeing of receipts receipts and payments for this also same procedure in gateway of tally you need to click on under reports you need to click on display in display if you observe you can find the point called receipt and payments once if you are clicking on receipts and payments it will display one side total receipts and another side total payments this is the procedure for seeing of mis reports of mis report of receipt and payment so after that you are having the how to see mis report of purchases for seeing of purchases purchase register and sale register you need to go to gateway of tally in gateway of tally under reports if you click on display in display you need to go for accounts book in accounts book you can see cash and bank book ledgers group summary group vouchers in that if you observe you can see the point called purchase voucher and sales voucher once if you are clicking on purchase or sales voucher it will display the sales voucher here we don't have any sales voucher so just if you go to the purchase voucher here also you can see all the types of purchases so here also we don't have any purchases so just again you go back this one is a procedure for seeing of mis report of purchase as well as sales if you want to see the mis report of journal also this also you can see in 
account books only see in account books you are having the name called journal register if you click on this journal register it will display you the all the journal register month wise if you click on again this month particularly whatever the vouchers you are passing in this particular month it will display here okay so after that you are having sales and cash book if you click on this sales and cash book then it will display you how much cash in hand you are having okay and that cash in which month you are receiving everything is going to display here which one is the procedure for seeing off all mis report and this is the only procedure you are having in unit 5 with this i can say that unit 5 maximum only this point is enough for learning in unit 5 yes thank you this conference will now be recorded